He weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pounds. He's wearing black trunks, fighting out of and representing Il 34. Big wins coming by way of knockout. Shake hands, go buddy, call Mr. Marley, head about. Good luck. Very short notice, facing a hostile crowd, and Nigel Ben moves up, likes to throw from way out, usually a powerful straight. Remember, Nigel's not one of these kind of guys who waits around for the fight to start. When the bell rings, 10 hours working on a jackhammer, and then two hours in the gym. He's got some cut, and as mentioned, he was told about it. All of a sudden, you're here in the middle of all this roaring crowd. Nigel Ben, always oh, at uh, belies uh, the strength because of beautiful doubling up by Nigel Ben. Pass me an ice bag up, please. Can you pass me an ice bag? Okay. Oh, it was nice to ask him if he wanted an ice bag. He's getting to actually mic the people in the corner, which was very gracious on the uh, Marine Corps. But, and you're, you're throwing the left and nothing with the right. So let's see what. Nice little three, four, five punch combination. Relentless shots by Nigel Ben. Uppercuts to the body of the head. To use the angles and cut up. Then against Marciano to wear him down. Okay, Daniel, that was good out there. You heard him. You already heard him. Let's take a look at the low blow that was low. Whoa. Turn his hands in me on the side. Good, great right hand. Hesitant to throw a punch that. He says, I'll just see what he has in the first few rounds. The punch is blocked by Nigel Ben's right fist. And as you know, he loves to set. He doesn't want to waste any ammunition. And certainly, data tip, you know, he just didn't come off the road from Albuquerque. The F rating, he is 15th, I think, in one of the other WBA. Corner came Usually that is a no-no here in Great Britain. Round four, as it is much here. I, I don't think there's any reason for it. And could have used it in the uh, Ben McCullough. Uh, unfortunately for him, that uh, that might leave his head exposed, which is heating up. And Eubank uh, then has defended the title eight times. Still Ben. Perez trying to hold. Ooh, nice uppercut again. That's what he is. He is a destroyer. A little bit too much. Look at that body shot on the side. Now one on the other side will come in. It is scheduled for 12. Turkey, New Mexico is a late oh. place. There's a right. Five. Five. And now Ben looking to go in for the finish. But back comes Perez with a combination. Perez now trying to fight. Ahead. He's done that a couple of times. What a the young man, Danny Perez. So Ben's crunch. It should say the same thing on Perez's trunk. Me on entertaining round thus far. Right hand. Wow. Right on the on the money. You know, that's on the chin. A good, clean punch. Corner Danny in my ribs. I don't know if I can keep this up. Is of the champion. So feeling the back of his head, does that remind you of anything? Seems like a very long round with the right, but doing no damage. He has nothing on his punches now. He is. And to stun the champ and drive him back like that. Wow. With an overhand right by Ben. Oh, nice right hand. Two right hands. He is being pummeled here. Ooh, right up. Never unfortunate it You know, when you throw first off that jab, you laugh. Winners in Nigel Ben's corner as we enter the, as you think you are, then go out there. <laughs> Perez looking to protect those ribs. Bobbing and weaving. Well, he did that. He, he walked in as the punch was coming in. He is in trouble again, Perez. Perez going down. It's Nigel Ben defends his title for the next. He's all right. He's all right. Nothing to worry about there, but he is. Look at these replays at the end. Too much. See a shot on the side. Goodbye. You just can't. Super middleweight crown, raising his record to 42-2-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah.